In this video, I'm going to show you how to use R to calculate descriptive statistics of categorical variables. I'm assuming you already know the basic descriptive statistics for categorical variables, so if you do not, pause this video and watch that video first. I have opened R Studio in which I have already created a script for calculating some descriptive statistics. Recall that a script is simply a series of R functions along with annotations. Before we walk through this script, let's look at how I have set up the project. In the upper left hand of this window, you can see that I have named the project Titanic Analysis. You can also see that at the top of the Files window. Notice the files that I have put in my project folder. The project is going to be an analysis of data obtained from the Titanic disaster. So I have put in the project folder a variety of files related to the analysis. These include the data, both in an Excel file and convert it to a CSV file. My script, and I'll probably add more scripts in the future and some documentation about the data. Good documentation is very important in any data analysis project. Let's look at the documentation. You will hear data documentation referred to by one of several names, including data legend, data key, and data codebook. These all mean the same thing. This is where we will document our variables if we collected the data, and it is where we will learn variable definitions if we're using someone else's data. That's the case in this instance. I did not collect the data. I'm using data that someone else collected. Fortunately, they created a nice code book so that I could know the meaning of each of the variables. Here is a list of the variables in the data set. We are learning descriptive statistics for categorical variables, so I'm going to use the first categorical variable in the data set, which is passenger class. This is called P class and refers to whether each passenger was in a first second, or third class cabin. Note how the data are coded. They are coded as 1, 2, and 3 for the first, second, and third class cabins. There is an important concept to learn here. The fact that we have data that are numerals does not mean that they are numbers. Numbers are quantities. But numerals can be used to name different categories. That's what was done for this variable. An easy mistake to make is to look at data, see numerals, and assume that we are looking at quantitative data. You really need to go to the data codebook to determine the type of variable. There are other categorical variables in these data, such as passenger survival, name, gender, and cabin occupied on the ship. There are also quantitative variables, such as age in years and passenger fare. Let's focus on P class, the passenger classes. I begin my script with a short description of what I'm going to use the script to do. I also give myself attribution for writing the script. I like to take ownership of my work and prefer if others use my work that they give me credit. So I've made it easy for them to do so. You should do the same with your scripts. For my first function, I will use read.csv to read in the data from the CSV file. I am reading this into an object called Titanic.
The n row function tells us how many rows are in an object. So I'm going to feed the titanic object to the n row function. Recall that a row in a spreadsheet represents a unit of analysis. So if I count the number of rows, I am counting the number of units, and thus I am obtaining the sample size. When I run this function, we can look over at the R console window to see that the sample size is 1309. That is, there are 1,309 Titanic passengers in this data set. Next, I obtain a frequency table with the table function. I'm going to tell this function to create this table with the p-class variable. Remember that p-class is one variable in the Titanic object, so we use the syntax Titanic dollar sign p-class as the input for our table function. This function will count the number of passengers in each passenger class. I'm going to assign this to a variable that I call class.counts. I'm doing this because I'm going to look at it at the end of this script. But if you get so excited that you need to see it now, just type class.counts in the console window. Next, I'm going to use the prop table function to calculate proportions. And I will assign this to an object called class.props. The input for calculating proportions is a frequency table. So I'm going to give this function the table that we just created called class.counts. Finally, I'm going to use the cbind function. cbind means column bind. So it is a way to bind together multiple columns. I'm going to use cbind to bind together the frequencies and the proportions. If you look in the R console window when I run this function, you'll see that we have a nice little frequency distribution table that shows my three cabin classes, the number of passengers that were in each class, and the proportion of the passengers in each class. If I want percentages instead of proportions, all I need to do is move the proportion decimal place two places to the right. For example, the proportion of the passengers who were in first class on the Titanic is 0.247 or 24.7%. After reading our data into R, we can use just a few simple functions to obtain the basic descriptive statistics for a categorical variable. I encourage you to practice this. You can use the Titanic data set to replicate what I did, but then you should get your own data set and prove to yourself that you can do this on your own. Happy analysis!